What's your goal with the game, my friend? I would like to at least get to gold, hopefully, by the end of this uh, season, but I doubt it. Um, you doubt I... it? Don't doubt it. <laughs> no, I just I, I just want to get to gold. Um, just to prove like, myself that I can get to gold. Just a benchmark. All right. So, cannon matchup, conditioning. You may want to just go, like, second wind, just because you're guaranteed to take a lot of poke in a matchup like cannon. Go ahead and save that. Okay. Cool. Lock that in. No, no, you're fine. Oh, she reconnected. Thank God. Now, again, this is just all about defense. As she came back, though, you didn't get fucked over too bad. Just a harder yeah. game. Now, if he's not autoing you, don't be afraid to go and, like, take a minion. Like, don't be afraid to take them. He's clearly not... See, he's... This is what I mean. Like, players in the Lilo, yeah. he should be autoing the shit out of you. We're not gonna run at him, though. We're just gonna wait till... Okay. We're just gonna wait till we get uh, the wave under our tower and then maybe look for something. <clears throat> you also just want him to get ganked by Hecarim, too. Like, that's also an option. Yeah, he clearly has no idea how to pressure you, so <laughs> we're fine. We'll just get free farm here. Try not to auto. You're keeping yourself on defense longer. Like, all you're oh, yeah. doing okay. is extending the timer, right? Got it. You don't want to be here. You know what I mean? You don't want to be in this position. This position blows ass. So we would rather just last hit and run away. Your champion is very binary. This is why I recommend Garen to newbies a lot. Is because he, you can't yes. really defend pushes very well. He, you just kind of have to accept it. And that's good because that makes it less likely for you to make a mistake. Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, just stay. Just, just, you can't. You can't. It's ridiculous. Yeah, my bad. That was horrible. Well, it's just, it's more that he's out of line there. Like, he's... I go E the wave. We can maybe dive him. Actually, you don't have to E. Don't E, don't E. We can dive him. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to calmly... We're going to try this. You're going to calmly walk under tower. Walk under tower. Don't... Just listen to me. Auto, Q, E, ignite. W. It's very close. The only thing is, uh, put your W down sooner, right? Yep. Okay. And you have to get the. You have to also try to get that E off. Now, right now, ready? The combo. Yep. Auto as the auto lands, you want to Q and ignite at the same time, okay? Because the okay. minute that you auto, the tower is going to target you. So think of it like this. Up until the moment you auto the guy, uh, this is how I teach diving, okay? Up until the moment where you auto the guy. You're allowed to walk all the way up to his face, okay? It's a very important yep. detail. If you're about to try to run away after, or flash away after, whatever it is you want to do, or to flash to secure it, you want to walk right in his face, auto as the auto lands, E, ignite, right? Well, it'd be like auto Q, sorry. Auto Q, as the Q yeah, land, or as the auto lands, you Q and ignite, and then E. Okay. Basically, because as you've autoed, you've now, like, it's like firing the gun, right? It's like, turret's about to hit me now. Got it. Does, does okay. this make sense? Like, as soon as yes. I auto him, yes. turret is now on me. So watch nice what happens. Right. So you're doing the right thing. You're chilling. You kind of hesitate here, see? Yeah. Auto. That should be, as soon as the auto lands, Q, ignite, it, it's Q. spin. See that? That's where you fucked up. Ignite yeah, comes down a little late. Freaking... So if you're just quick about it, a good way to do this is to legit just go into the practice tool and practice auto queuing and making it really clean and snappy. Okay. Because this dive right here, this, like, if we pull this off, we get so much control of the game in solo queue. It's ridiculous. Okay. Like, if we pull it off, it's, it's, it's insane. I think I, I think I missed my E. <laughs> of course I did, but I, I yeah, just I thought I hit <clears> it, but... Once you yeah. get the sequence down, like, once you understand how to go for these dives and try it, it will unlock the game for you. You'll be like, oh my god, this game is so fun. Awesome. <laughs> it's just, uh... Okay. 
it's just going for it's really spooky because you're like well i don't know what i'm supposed to do here and i don't know what makes sense or how a dive's supposed to look did right you, did, you, did you say it's okay to die yeah for that yeah yeah yeah, I mean, this one, this one, you it. should never be dead here if you do it right. Yeah, but that's so fine to try. Here. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I well, I always want to put people in uncomfortable spots in my coaching, yes. right? Like that's all. Yes. Like I want you to see it's possible and look how close you were pulling it off, right? Right. Now you just receive the wave. He has TP, right? Like he doesn't have. Yeah. So just yeah. pull the wave back and let him get his TP off. Uh, you could try to freeze this with W for a second. Yeah. And then pull away. There you go. The rule with the uh, freezes is four or more. So four more minions than yep. you have. So he's going to get the wave under. You can't freeze it anymore. That's fine. He TP'd clearly, by the way. That's what that means because he showed up yeah, pretty quick. Yeah. So we're just going to let the wave go under and chill. And we're going to wait for Ignite. And then we're going to look for an all-in again. Sounds good. Now, remember that you have W here, just FYI. Nice. You don't want any part of trading. You want to get all your farm. We're dropping farm everywhere. And you have Q up. You have E up. Like, that's not acceptable. Okay. And remember, we're not pushing into him right now. We're chilling. Because, see, he... Because we failed the dive, he's got XP Oops. lead now. Nice. It's a good W. You don't have to get so close to him. Every auto you're tanking is by choice right now. There's no reason to tank all these. Why do you keep running at him? Well, I don't understand. He, you, there's yep. nothing for you yep. to... It's only XP and gold. That's all you care about. So why are you running at him? Look at your minion's health, right? You uh, didn't have yep, to go yep, anywhere yep. near the wave this whole time. You could have sat way the fuck back, like miles back. It wouldn't have mattered. Okay, okay Hecarim's coming in. You'll have six on this. Let's go. I just flashed to put it away. Mm, better you, you better back down. I don't know if this works. Let's just go back to tower. This is a good try. Hecarim, that guy sucks. <laughs> and so there's a, there's definitely there's definitely plays he has there if he just ease correctly. But whatever. Yeah. Now we're gonna slow push and go for the dive. You know how to slow push? Uh, last hit. Yep. Or just yeah, it's pretty running. much okay. Keep running at this guy though. Like tease him with cues. Like there you go. Good. Remember to use that W if he's fucking chunking you. Yeah. And just every time your W's up, try to threaten that. Okay. If he autos the wave, you need to auto it, though. He can't slow our push down, just so you know. See how you're not autoing? He's autoing the wave, right? There you go. Now slow it down. You have to match his push. Careful, careful. It's a juggling act. Now you're going to E the whole wave. <clears throat> Walk up and E it. You have W. Yep. Now I'd probably take a reset. Unless he wants to all in. If he wants to all in, then... Okay. Let's reset. We'll get a Berserker Greaves. He's tanking it, so I'd be very tempted... Nah. Nah, we're not going to dive. <clears throat> Let's get Berserker Greaves. Get yourself a long sword. Let's get back out there quickly. Now move your camera towards the wave because you got to be thinking about what he's going to do next, right? It's part of the learning process. Okay. Asari has no mana, so she if we can get to her, she's free. Okay, she's running away though. Now let's run up here and push because he didn't back yet, right? You see this? This is an idiot yep. move by him, right? So we need okay. to go up to the wave and do another crash and we're going for the dive. I don't care if you int. Okay? Okay. So here's how you're going to do this. Yeah, you're just going to auto. Pull the wave back a little bit. Pull the wave back a little bit. And then when he allows you to E, go ahead and E it. If he allows you to E. Mm, looks good. Yeah. If he's not in auto range, E it. E it. Why are you autoing? Just E it. There you go. Good. Now go back to pushing. Now he has no ignite. Shoot. You've got to get the wave to go under together with your push. So try to auto. You have your W if he autos you. Just keep autoing and try to sneak the push in. This is really good. Okay, so we're going to turn on the cannon. You're going to Q and ignite him. Ignite him. 
Oh, run, 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 run. This is Tarkul. Yeah, it won't work. Yeah, oh, see that ult? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Damn it. What was that? A Tark jungle? What, what the fuck is there a Tark here? Hold yeah. tab? Yeah, it is a Tark jungle. Yeah. That's funny. Grab the <laughs> dagger. Right. Yeah, trying to turn and pop the cannon before the yeah. ult goes off is the is the play there. All right, let's get back out to top. And like I said, this is this is one of the harder matchups you could get. It tests yeah. a lot of things. Yeah, this poor this poor Hecarim just <laughs> struggling. Yeah, we just let the wave crash again, and you just keep waiting for your full rotation. Unfortunately for us, our agency is gated on whether or not we can bust open top. Okay. And so, since we haven't gotten the solo kill yet. It's just, uh, we gotta wait. I would just E it. And you have your W. Yeah. I just pull back behind tower again. It's all Hecarim. Hecarim has to set it up. Yeah. This is... You have no ult. Like, this guy is basically just slamming yeah. his champion into people and hoping that it works, right? It might work. Right. Go ahead and E this. Maybe we can dive. Yeah, let's E this. Now turn your E off. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Don't go near him. You're going to calmly walk up now. You got your ult ready. Let's practice this. Three, two, one. At Q at him. You got W. And then ult him if you can get too close. Okay, he E's. Now get get into the bush so you don't take all this damage. Just get into the bush. There should be a plant on your right. Yep, use the plant. Now you're going to E the wave again so that he loses XP because he's obviously out, right? He's trying to leave. And if he stays, you're yep. just going to kill. E it quickly, quickly. Now's not the time to slow, slow it down. The wave is already stacked up. You don't have to do the auto auto thing if that's what you're thinking. Got it. Okay, so he TP'd. So now we just reset. I would just reset. We're too low and we have gold. Remember, if you have no kill potential, don't be afraid to just piece the fuck right. out. Now grab what you can and get back out there. It's all good. Just grab what you can. Go. Now wait and slow push from here. Try to build a big wave. A big wave is how you dive. Remember that. Yep. Remember, if he's autoing your wave, you have to push back into him. You see this? Otherwise, yep. he's going to keep you here. There okay. you go. You can also E if you just get tired of dealing with it. See how he's beating you on the push? Because you won't use the E. I just told you. There you go. See, he has to back down and he can't kite for shit, right? See how he's autoing the wave? You need to auto it. Like, you need to pay attention to what he's doing and either come up with okay. autos or E the wave. Like, you can't just sit there. Now, you can probably uh, trade... Like, you can Q at him if he wants to stay, like, that close. Yes. Ignite him. Ooh, you could have killed him, I think. It's okay, though. It's okay. Just wait for the next wave. Now, you could, if you wanted... <clears throat> you could probably flash QE, ignite, and then just ult. Yeah, do it. No, wait. Just try it. Ignite him. Okay, 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 okay. If he if he ease away from me like that, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
but you're hesitating so much. You're giving him time. Yes. All this stuff, like all these little things are adding up, right? So like I'm yes, telling you, you got to get the push in, right? He's autoing it, but you're not, you're not, you're just kind of clicking around aimlessly, right? Right. You're yep. not really yep. like thinking about it in terms of the wave itself. Just look at the wave and say, okay, his wave's bigger than mine. So I need to E or okay. use something. And don't worry. I'll go over it in the VOD so you can see. Yeah. It's weirdly technical because there's like this dance yes. of like <laughs> juggling him and pushing. But once you can, uh, like once you can conceptualize what's happening, it, it makes a lot of sense. Okay. These guys are struggling. I would just see the wave. I don't want to interact right now. We don't have a uh, ignite or flash or anything. <clears throat> if you notice, I only set up waves when I think we have lethal. Got we can it. go to golems. Unless Kennen's grouped. Yeah, he's grouped. Hit, hit tower, hit tower, hit tower. Kennen's grouped. You could see it on the mini map. And you could see that he just got an assist. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Pull the wave back, and then we're going to eat this whole thing again. Nice. Now just play bushes. When you're facing range, it's best to just play bushes. Yeah. Because you don't know what she's going to do. Just give it a second. Okay, if she's not on the wave when it meets, I would just walk out and E it so we don't have to interact with the range matchup. Now get back in the bush and just press B. Because again, we have no real lethal, right? Right. She's in mid, so I would push. Yep, yeah, she's in mid, so I would push. You see, we're using the, the brush and like pushing is kind of like a, like an information gathering. A little tease. Right, we're just seeing what they're doing and then... Oh, I would have uh, taken it. You had auto-Q. Yeah. Either way, yeah. Maybe you should take your minions first. It was still going to be there. Press B. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Press B, you're good. Oops, Jesus. Now, how much for our stride breaker? I think we have enough. Yes, just yep. enough. All right. <clears throat> we're going to get back out there. We're going to go to golems, and then we're going to go from there. Now, the only way you're going to kill Kennen is catching him from a bush angle or a giant wave that you dive him on. So, yeah, like coming around the, the river there might be cool. He might face check you if you wait in the bush here. You never know. Yep. Could get lucky. Or he might try to push tower, in which case you could walk behind him in stride breaker. Let's see what he does. Remember, you're going to auto QE ignite, okay? Yep. You got stride breaker. Ignite him. Use your Q. Chase, chase, chase. Oh, Damn it, too long, didn't you, I? You, yeah, go ahead and eat the wave. Here's the thing, though. If you ignite him right away, you have lethal on him, but you're holding the ignite. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The ignite, when you're going all in as Garen, ignite sooner, your ults and execute, okay. right? So you just need to get as much damage off as fast as possible. That's what ignite's for. Got it. Okay. The ignite sets up the execute. So just like when you've decided, like, oh, I'm going to all in this guy, as soon as your auto came down, you should have just said, fuck it. Like, I'm igniting this guy, like, right now. That makes sense. Yep. Let's go to Rift. Oops. Kennen died bad, somehow, man. anyways. You can take all these camps, actually. I guess Rift might be more valuable, but we still have time, I think. Just take this and then go to Rift. We have about a minute to take it. All right, let's go take it. Hit that plant, too. Don't let them use it. Yep. <clears throat> Oh, 
Am I trying to take the eye? I would take it. Press B. You want to cash that. I would go build towards your uh, your dead man. So I would build a move speed item because you're not really that far ahead. Usually when you're behind, you should build more tankier. If you were crushing, okay. I would have you go mortal reminder. Go let's go by. bottom. Yeah, let's go bottom. Push out. Should I get that turret with rift? We're not going to rift um, unless we absolutely have to. Wow, they were all pretty low. That's nice. Yeah, I think the next one, I think <clears throat> if they still are floating around mid, I would make sure you E here and use the whip so it's faster. Let's keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. I'm going to probably... Mm, he kind of... Well, you need to trade. He's a level behind. Like, he can't just hold that wave like that. There you go. There you go. E, E it. You might take a little damage, but he's never just gonna destroy you. He won't. No. He will if you if he will if you tank tower a bunch though. Q way, yeah. Tark's mad, brother. Yeah, he is. <clears throat> you better spam that Q, because he's gonna chase you all the way home. He flashed, yeah. Okay, it's fine. Damn. Yeah, all you right. take the tower too much, but that's okay. Just in the future, yeah. guys blocking the tower like that, just either wave. Get it under, and then we'll decide what to do. But you can't just let him hold the wave with this. Tarek in general is like yeah, a tanky yeah. champ. Right? Yeah. If as long as you E, he yep. can't really do much. He has to back down. Gotcha. Okay. Thinking... Bottom again. Mm, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I keep pushing. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of time. Let me rift. Let's go to golems. We'll go to golems. I'm not rifting yet. Yeah, see, because I don't know where they are. QA. Just QA from that. Oh, okay. If you think you win. We might kill with Ignite. <laughs> she killed herself. Go ahead, stay in it, stay in it. If you killed one, you might as well kill you might as well just use your E. Remember he's a tank, right? Now you have your stride breaker. You have your stride breaker. Alright, now I'm out. Yep. Just Q away. Spam your Q. Yep. I'm just going towards the bush behind you and just Oh, drop your rift. Drop your rift. My bad. I forget about this fucking thing. Camera on Hecarim. How how uh you need you no, you need to look at this. I think you're fine to push it in. Let's make sure Tark doesn't take the the Rift for free. You're just gonna walk up and either wave and whip, okay? Stop tanking this fucking tower. <laughs> okay, Is it, it'll crash. You're good. Run. That's all you wanted. Wow. You had the right idea. Once he tries to run from you, just try to get out. Okay. Play the little spacing game. So when you all in the karma, that was good. The only problem is you didn't ignite right away like I told you. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. Just yeah. ignite her right away. Your Just ult will kill her. Right away. Yeah. Yeah, okay. your ult will kill her. You're you're doing it in reverse, so you're making it messier. They get more healing back because you're doing it in opposite order. You'd Got rather okay. make the ult the ult needs to execute. That's your goal, right? So the ignite just okay. serves to set up your execute. So I got pretty lucky on that one. Right, because she in she actually was out, but she ran into minions. She like ran back into a wave.
And that's what killed her. If she had ran through the jungle, uh, she would have been fine. Yeah. Go help Drake. Yeah, I would go to Drag. Right, let's go to bot and push out. We, I want this tower. That that second tier tower okay. is really powerful. Money. Big money. I think they might go to Baron, so we need to push fast. You should eat right away. Nice. Yep. Use that Q. It's only one auto, so. I think they're on Baron. Cheat, cheat forward. Auto, auto, E. That would be Oops, the auto, yep. auto, E. Yeah. Because it's not stacked up yet. That's why the push is so sloppy. I would try to dart my camera up to Baron and see what the health of the Baron is. No, you need to push. You just need to, like, do both. Dude, juggle that shit. Move your camera up there. Yeah. Ah, oh, very close. Aww. It's okay. But at least you know now that they're pretty healthy and they have Baron. So I'll take one tower and leave. I'm out after this tower. Let's go to Golems. Run to Golems. Use your Q. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down and try to grab the wave if they haven't buffed it with Baron minions. If it's buffed with Baron... Oh, it is. You need to hide. You need to run away. She saw you. Because you saw her, she could have seen you. Yep. Yep. That's how it works. <clears throat> I think I would just probably go Hallbreaker or... this game. We're kind of by ourselves all game, so... All right, go yeah. to top. Go. Push out. We want to keep the pressure on the map so that they run out of Baron. Got it. That was auto auto queue, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Just keep pushing with Q. You want to get this under fast. And this would be another auto auto queue. Stack it up first. Yep. There you go. Try to get every single minion though. Don't skip minions like that. Okay. Nah, I'm I'm just gonna ooh, just run Q away, whatever. Yeah. You can't two v one. Hover them like kind of dance in front. Not like dance, but like stay kind of near near the wave. You want to show on screen. Now go auto auto e. You want them interested in you because that means that they're not dealing with your teammates, right? Right. Now run away. Yep, that's perfect. See how they're wasting time? Now spam your Q. Yeah, get into the wave. You're fine. Now poke your nose at him again. Now it's just him. I'd be thinking about challenging him. Q him. You got stride breaker. Yeah, beat him up. E, ignite. Remember? Yep. Flash on it. Very close. No. Oh, faster ignite dude, okay. and just a little bit quicker yep, on the yep, on yep. the draw and you have it like you really do i'd sell the door and shield because you're gonna have enough gold for a uh, hull break once you spawn got it okay yeah All right, they're wasting flashes. That's really good. <laughs> All right, let's push out nice. top. How did Twitch lose that? Okay, I guess he didn't yet. It looks pretty good. All right, he gets away, so you can just work top. Try to take the tower. Lucia's probably going to run at mid in a straight line because that's what newbies do. No, he went to bottom. I'm surprised.
Alright, let's keep cruising. Nice. Sweet. See how smooth that is? Now you can take this for sure. Yeah. And then I would think about flanking mid. So I would clear this and then walk to your right and then go behind them. Mm, maybe not. I think I'd keep pushing. I'd keep pushing. I'd keep pushing. Uh, okay. they're, they're very... Your team's very low. Flank doesn't work. Now, you don't want to try to hit tower or, like, kill it. You just want to take the minions and leave. And run away. Because someone's going to hold you. You already know. And I don't want to get you caught. Uh, right? Take yeah, some? take what you can. Take what you can. I'd be eating. Yeah. Now let's push top. Someone just got picked, right? Fuck that. I'm not leaving. You got to keep looking at the mini map while you're doing this shit. Because, like, see how they're distracted? Yeah. Get out there yep. and push hard now. Like, get up there. Like, it's a race. Use your E. Use your whip. Take this fucking tower, then. Lucian could be here, and... That's good that you moved your camera. That's actually the first time you've done that. I would... Th I'd dive him. Whip. Oh, oh, oh. Remember that at 16, your ult's big damage, so you can kind of cheat okay. the, the execute a bit. That's something a lot of people, uh, a lot of Garens don't notice. I did not notice that, no. Now, I would try to take this tower and run away from Ari when she spawns. Or, I would just hit the tower until she spawns and then run away. I think you could actually take it in her face. I think I'd just take it. You have W still. Yep, you're fine. And now, run away. Q away, and That's let's beautiful. take a reset. Get around this wall and press B. Yep. Put this ward down over your wall while you're basing. Mm, yeah, there you go. All right, let's buy what we can. I'm just going to go like... Um, I'm just going to go like force of nature. I'm just going to build tanky. Because we're just a, a turret hitter this game. Let's go bottom. Go. We're just a turret knocker this game. Yeah. Which is fine. You ping him mm -hmm. off. Ping the, ping him off and ping that you have Hullbreaker. You know how to do that? You hold, you hold alt and like click it. I just spam ping it a bit and then... Slow your push down. Look where your team is. Let's just sit in the bush for a bit. You gotta, gotta, you gotta do it in sync with your team. Otherwise, it's useless. Yep. You were saying that in one of your videos recently. Yeah. So here, Lucian's top. I would shove this and look to help your team with drag. All right? Let's go. Shove. And then flank the enemy team. Go up and around them. Good. Yep. You want to try to hit Ari or Kennen with a big full, like, combo, okay? Yeah, I would go for Ari. She has ult on her. Careful, careful, careful. She has ult on her. You have to wait. You can go to Kennen, yeah. Good ult. You just tank it up here for your team so they can free hit. Yeah. Let's go to bottom now. Run to bottom as fast as you can. Yo, yeah, go, go, go. Spam Q. Spam Q. Don't, don't chase. Just go to bottom. Because you've already killed, you've killed big targets and you've got a huge wave, right? Yep. So you just use yep. the wave. Even if your team all dies, like you're going to get value here. <clears throat> now it's just Lucian, so you don't have yeah. ult. So I would just look to take flash. towers. You could maybe, if you really feel in swag, you could try like flash Q and see if he's weak enough. Mm. Just push, just push the wave. And then let's rotate to mid. We're not going to dive him or anything, so. I would have used the plant instead of skipping it. I like to move quicker. Yep. I think I'd try to take this tower and run away. You have flash, you have W. They have to deal with the wave. Got ult. And then I'm going to probably think about leaving. They're not on you yet, so. You can see all of them. I'd leave. Q away. You just need to leave. You guys took everything. Just get us out. Just get us out. We lose Baron. We fucked the game up. Now, let's just take a reset and guard Baron. They're going to Baron right now. Assist ping Baron. We're not backing. Assist ping Baron. Just wait. Wait in the bush. Don't show. Just, just chill. Chill. Let's Hit the plant. It. Hit the plant. Towards him. Just wait. Relax. Get in the bush and relax. Relax. Look at them. Look at their health. Look at the champions you want to target. 
right? Just chill. Let them take damage. Chill. Chill. They fucking 12k on this thing. Relax. Now hit the plant and go fuck them up since switch engaged. Yeah. Help him. You're tanky. Uh -uh. You're not running away. You have ult for Tarek. It's fine. Now try to get out. You have flash. W. Just run home. Run home. Just keep running. You should be okay if you just keep running. They didn't get Baron. That's all we care about. Let's take a reset now. Yep. Evolution. <laughs> now buy, buy what you can. Uh, I would buy... Yeah, the, you could buy Sterix, actually. Sterix is good here. All right, let's get back on the map. Go. Spam your Q. And let's just do Baron. We got to get Baron down. Let's just ping it. They're dealing with Tri and Hibs. Like, we've got to go to Baron. Yep. Start it? Yeah, start it. You're, you're tanky. Let's go. Take plant after? Yeah, I think so. Well, you don't need to take it. You're just going to heal up regardless. Yeah, it's I true. would just work top. I'd go to top and grab that wave, like, go around it, behind it. Don't go through like this. That's dangerous. And it's unneeded. Because you're going to be able to just get to the wave safely here anyways, right? True. And it'll heal you up to full. Because if you take damage, you won't be fully healed. See, right now, since you have your passive rolling, you're just healing up this whole time. Uh, just shadow the wave, like get behind it and stay like in like you're in formation, dude. Get in the wave, like get behind it. There you go. You still have all if you mm, back away. That's the tar oh, Just run. You've got W. Nah, you're fine. Trying. You're fine. But now oh, you're not. Shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, it sucks that they CC locked us, but not the end of the world. It's just the game's dragging right. now. It's getting a little spooky. Yeah. What's the next dragon Check. spawn? Okay, yeah. we'll get the last One. dragon. Did Lucian just in? What is this? Yep. They just couldn't just farm it out, huh? They had to go out there no. and throw. Yep. <laughs> That's a rare throw after all that defending. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's bigger now. Yeah, I mean... It so basically if you're on blue team here you should have been happy that you know you got some kills and just wait out baron right. but instead right they went out there and got caught now they might lose right because well i don't know hecarim's kind of out of line even if he dies oh, not man. a big deal it's not a big deal if he dies <clears throat> um, okay <laughs> huh? all right let's go to drag assist being drag a bunch Camera out on the map. Keep keep very active. Quick, quick. Okay. Keep guys zapped. Let's do our dragon. Oh, we're about to get a tower even though we're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. All right. I'd go to the bottom lane bush and just sit. Take red. Nah, no, no. Give it to switch. Go to the lane bush below you. Just chill. Now, just pay attention to where your teammates are, and just make sure you don't do something stupid here, right? Like, it, you, you've got two dead, right? There's no need to really do anything. You just wait. You just relax, and then uh, if they push out too deep, and you and you can account for all of them, you just push. But you don't want to show on the map. Right. Back up, back up so you don't show. Just back up. Yep. Just pull the wave all the way back to where it meets and then E it. That's good. This way you just make sure to show when it's absolutely necessary. Then go back to the bush and chill. 
And just keep your eyes on your teammates. Uh, I would go push this out now. Because they're about to fight. Look at them posturing. Yeah. Skip this cannon. Just fuck people up. I mean, take the tower. I mean, take the tower. Yeah, just spam Q. You can actually hit tower. Just kill the tower in front of you. You don't, oh, yeah, you don't have right, to yeah, You don't have to wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're pretty tanky here. Yep. Now take inhib. Or, I mean, not inhib. Uh, Nexus. 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 You're fine. Bitch. <laughs> I don't know why I said <laughs> inhib, but... But yeah, there you go. Hmm. So the cool thing about Low Elo is like if you can get into this framework of just working the map and not getting caught and working the map and not getting caught, just yeah. doing that over and over again, you usually can drag games out, right? Ooh, this is pretty universal. Like this is pretty universal till Diamond 2. Okay. Because like I don't know, it's not this is not like I don't players are impatient. They don't want to play the actual the strategy game. They want to play the fighting game. Right? Right. So because even though it went, even though your lane went badly, right? You were able to just keep dragging the game out over and over yep. again. And that's what we're after. 